right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We're at it again. The chicken coop, uh, the stone chicken coop slash goat shelter. We're getting close. We're getting close to making some real, uh, some real progress here, I feel like. So let me show you where we're at. All right, here it is. We've got about, I don't know, about three feet down here, about two and a half feet up there on the, the hill kind of slopes up this way. So I did that by design, of course, so that the, the ground on the inside, hopefully any runoff from in there can run out uh, out of the, the shelter. Um, but uh, this will just get filled with straw in here, and, and uh, we just need it big enough for these little goats to get in and out of and maybe pigs down the road so it doesn't need to be super tall i'm not putting horses or anything in here so we're going to try to get to four feet and then put our joists on but today we need to put some windows in which actually will make progress go a little faster because we're going to take up some space where we'd normally need to stack stones i'm going to do three windows on this we'll do one at the back one on that side and one on this side and so I think that'll give us airflow through here and light in there uh, during the nice days. And then we'll put some kind of shutters on them for the winter time or for the rainy days we can close or um, so that they uh, don't get, you know, too much cold wind and snow blowing in there. But this is where we're at, all built from stones from the property and just bags of premixed mortar. It's solid. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Uh, we're also going to be moving a lot quicker today because we're going to be using a lot smaller uh, stones. Uh, I started off with double rows or really large stones. This way we'll be able to, to run our, our smaller stone lines here. I'll put mortar on and just keep, keep moving. I think it'll move a little bit quicker. So hopefully we can get up to our final um, height today. Well, it's October, so sometimes a little bit of pressure is, is good. Uh, we've got a little pressure because uh, not too long from now it's going to be hitting uh, freezing temperatures which means dealing with mortar and cement is going to become way harder uh, water and you know all that kind of stuff so we need to get the the mortar the cement part of this thing done uh, very soon we also have these chickens uh, that need a home they've got we've got just the four here so i've got the three hens and then our new rooster in this little coop but then we have a bunch i think there's nine or ten of these chicks that are in this little coop. And they're, they're to the age now where they actually can get out. Um, I alternate, let, let those guys out, the big guys out uh, to free range one day, and then we can let these guys out in free range as well. Even for sleeping space, this is getting a little small for these guys, they're getting pretty big. So we need to get them in the coop, so we've got a little pressure. So the windows will be made here in the shop. So we'll start with the window frames. Uh, they're gonna be just made out of two by six material, uh, and I'm just gonna frame these, these windows out, uh, give them a, a place to um, you know secure a, a, some kind of a shutter to and just kind of hold the rocks and mortar and everything in place as we you know get that all set so well, let's get some frames built and then we'll mix up some mortar we'll get them kind of cemented in place and we'll start laying some rock So we're using all scrap wood here, so I actually don't have enough two by sixes, but I do have some of these two by 12s, so we'll rip these down to size.
All right, we're ready to get started. We have our three of our 12 by 12 inside diameter frames ready to go. Um, they'll probably go at about that height. This actually wasn't as tall as I thought. This is only about two and a half feet right here. And so this goes up 15 inches and then we'll still need another, I don't know, you know, eight, eight inches or 10 inches or so on the top of it. So we'll have stones that go over the top and that's where our, our joists will sit is in that uh, stone above the window. So we've got our stone in here. I brought in a bunch of various sized, put some larger ones across the back and then we'll start doing smaller ones. The smaller, the, the more narrow the, the wall, the less mortar I'll use. So it stretches the mortar a lot further and it allows me to actually move a lot faster. At the bottom, I was just, it, it, was, <laughs> it was 12, 14 inches wide at the bottom. So we'll get up to about six inches wide at the top. So I ran a string line this time. This is just gonna help me keep the wall straight. Uh, you can see right here, it kinda starts to cup in a little bit. And so we'll have to kind of finagle it. I just want to kind of try to straighten it out on the base that we have here. Going smaller will allow me to kind of um, come to the outside edge here and then to the inside edge there, which will allow me to straighten it out. So we'll kind of try to keep it straight and then we'll go level from this window to that window frame. So we'll go level across and then level from here to that window frame in the back. So all the window frames will be level in the, in the structure. So. Some real progress today. 
This was another another good afternoon, about 11 in the morning to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So got, uh, I don't know, maybe almost 12 inches all the way around. I got the windows put in, window frames. And I'm getting better at this, and I'm getting a little faster at it. So I did decide to go some larger stones, and then I'm getting to the smaller stuff now you can see up towards the top. I definitely am getting a lot faster than I was when I started. So I think one more day out here, and I should finish. So I've adjusted the plan a little bit. Just after thinking through things today, I'm going to go up right to this level. So this is level all the way around. I leveled from this window across to this one and then back to that one. So that's flat surface. So I'll end up taking the wall all the way up to that and then just one course of stone, you know, about this size. So just a few inches above this, above the window all the way around. And then I'll actually put two by four joists, treated two by fours that will go across. And they will actually, they're eight foot two by fours. So I think what I'll do is have them stick out of the side this way they'll overhang about a foot or a foot and a half and i'll actually build a little deck on the side and then the actual chicken door will be on the the side of it and there'll be some kind of a chicken ladder thing that will go down the nesting boxes will go on the back side here and i've got a really cool nesting box that will be uh getting delivered here in the next few weeks i think we'll get uh, the nesting box put on this side and then this side will just be closed off um, the front side of it will have some kind of a, an access that will open up a door or something uh, that will open up so you can get inside the coop and access it, clean it out, things like that. Pretty straight. We had some, some waviness in it and some things, but I think I got everything just about pulled out to my string line here. Uh, this side was a little straighter. Still dips in a little bit at the end, but I, I think I can just keep moving that out a little bit. So. I know some of you guys are probably getting bored with this series. This is probably the longest series I've ever done on a project. Uh, and it's a lot of the same thing. And so I appreciate you guys sticking around. I'll keep these videos shorter. Uh, you know, you, you can only watch me stack stones and mortar so many times before it just gets boring. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the progress on, on this. I'm getting excited now. I'm finally almost done with the mortar and stone work and then things will go much faster once we get to the wood portion of it. I did also adjust the plan a little bit. I was going to put my, my floor joists across and then plywood the floor and then go up another foot with stone, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna build, build a kind of like a little knee wall, just a short uh, foot or, or so, maybe 18 inch wall that will be on top of the floor and then the roof joist will come down to that. So it'll be like a tiny little short coop, but it'll have a nice big peaked roof. So there'll still be a ton of, of room in here because of the, I'll, I'll keep the, the peak of the roof real high. So I was running real fast with this last um, layer, this last course. And so I, I do have a lot of work to get to do still coming back and smoothing this out. I was just really trying to hurry as much as I could and uh, <laughs> I may have wasted some water here. Let me know what you guys think. As always, throw comments down below. You enjoying the progress of this, uh, this build? You like this, this build? I know it took to, it's taken a long time to get to this point. It doesn't seem like <laughs> we've made it very far, but it's been a lot of work. So, But I tell you one thing, this thing is not going anywhere. In fact, I feel bad for you know, if we don't own this house forever, the, the people that buy this after us, if they ever want to move this or change this, it's going to be something to move this thing out of here. So don't forget to hit thumbs up today on the video, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.